name is Dex from MyConsult and today we'll be looking at Autocount Stock Group. So Stock Group is actually used to help you identify which account code it will hit when you buy or sell a particular item. Right. So before we begin, do like and subscribe to be notified when we release new guides. Okay, back to this example. So let's say example, we are a bookstore and we would like to link and identify how much sales is generated from books and how much sales is generated from stationery. Alright, so to do this, we will need to create different stock groups. So in AutoCount, what you need to do is you come here to stock, stock group maintenance. And then what happens is, let's say we want to create one for books, so press new. Okay, so let's say we create this as books. Books, alright. And then here we can actually link which is the account code. Okay, so let's say books, sales, book. Sales, book, sales. Of course, if you want to change, uh, you want to have a different account code for the stock return and stock discount, you can also do that. So, but for this example, we'll use the same account code, right? So, purchase will be purchase for books, 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 and books. And also for this example, we will only link to one particular stock item group where it's called stock okay press ok and we will do the same thing for stationery come in new stationery all right and then here we have station sales stationery sales okay So once we actually set all this, your users will not need to select or need to know which account code they need to choose when they buy or sell the particular item. Right? And here we press stock. Okay. So straight away we can say books will go to this account code, stationery will go into this account code. So this is actually how easy it is to manage different stock groups in AutoCount. Stay tuned for the next video when we link different stock items to these different groups. Alright, thank you.